Hi, here we are. We're going to do a sine and cosine uh, phase shift and a vertical shift. So here we go. Here's example number one. We've got the, the function y equals sine x plus pi over 2 plus 1. So now this plus 1 out here is a vertical shift uh, going one unit up. Okay, so our basic strategy again is to fill in what our amplitude. Our amplitude is 2. Our period, normally 2 pi over b. Well, in this case, our b value is 1. Our phase shift, well, we set this in inside equal to 0, and we get x is equal to negative pi over 2. Then our vertical shift is up 1 unit. So then what we have to do is we have to build our five key point structure. Sign again, 0, max, 0, min, 0. This point out here is always your phase shift. Okay, So that's your phase shift. And watch, we can watch previous videos about how that's done. The last point here is your phase shift plus your period. Okay, And then your maximum, zero, and minimum can all be found if you uh, take the period, divide it by 4, and you, what you do is you get pi over 2. So now I'm going to add pi over 2 to all these values. So negative pi over 2 plus pi over 2 would be 0, plus pi over 2 again would be pi over 2, pi over 2 plus pi over 2 would be pi, pi plus pi over 2 would be 3 pi over 2. So now I'm setting up my graph. I have my max line here and my min line. Remember, we move the graph up. Sorry, you can't see me. Um, we move the graph up one full unit. So now I have this new midline. Bring this over here a little bit. This new midline at one. So I'm going to pretend like that's where my new zero is. And I'm going to plot my points based on that. So we start with negative pi over 2. We're at a 0. So I'm going to put that on that new midline right here. Then the next point is at 0. 0 is a max. Well, my max is up top. So I'll fill that in as my max. Pi over 2 is back down to 0. Remember, it's not the real 0. It's your new midline 0. So that goes there. At pi, we're at a minimum. So I'll fill this in here. And finally, at 3 pi over 2, I get back to a 0. And then I can make my curve go like this. And that is my sine curve with adjustment of 1 in the vertical unit. All right, now let's look at the cosine curve. Example for cosine. We have get y3 cosine. 3x minus pi minus 2. So now we've got a vertical shift of two units down. What's our amplitude? 3. What's our period? Well, there's a 3 here. So now it's 2 pi over 3. Our phase shift, I set this inside equal to 0. I encourage you to stop the video, set that equal to 0, and see if you get the same thing I got, which was pi over 3. All right, welcome back. You should have gotten pi over 3. Um, my vertical shift is down two full units. Again, here's our five key point method. Max, cosine now. Max, zero. Min, zero. Max, that's the layout for cosine. We always start with our phase shift, pi over three. How do I find out my max? I take my phase shift plus my period. So phase shift plus the period is three pi over three, which is just pi. Now, I take the, my period, multiply by 4. I know I've got canceled numbers here. So if I take 2 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3 times 1 fourth, I simplify the 2 and the 4. That becomes 2. So we get um, pi over 6. So I've got a pi over 6 adjustment to each one of these. Well, if you go to your unit circle, pi over 6 is 30 degrees, right? So if I start at pi over 3, 30 more degrees is pi over 2. 30 more degrees, 2 pi over 3. Another pi over 6 degrees is 5 pi over 6. And finally, I get all the way over to pi. 
All right, remember, this graph is shifted down two units. So here's my new midline right here. This is the midline, right, or the new zero. Put that in quotation marks. All right, so now I plot my points pi over 3. Let's see right here. Was it a max? So I'm going to go up here. There's my max. Pi over 2 went down to 0, but be careful. It's not that 0. It's this new 0. i got to go down there. 2 pi over 3 was a minimum all the way down here. Right? My max is at 1 because I went up 3 units. Remember? Start at negative 2. There's 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 units. So they end up 1. And 3 units down would be negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So that's where my new minimum is. Okay, then I go to 5 pi over 6. That's back up to a 0. My midline 0. And pi is at a max. So now I can draw my curve. And there you go. That is your cosine and sine with a shift. Vertical and horizontal and phase and everything else. All the stuff wrapped into one awesome video. Hope you enjoyed that. Rewind it, pause it, check it out again, do all the math, make sure it's right. Uh, anyway, have a great time. Thanks.